Hi guys, welcome to another vlog, Alex Peak Performance Reviews. We are basically giving you a little update video um, on the, click that there for you. The SRST, you'll probably see, I'm gonna flip it around for you really quickly. I'd give you an update of what's going on with the ST, because obviously I've been a bit quiet with that. Uh, basically with uh, brakes at the moment are a bit buggered, to say the least. Um, Francois, the main man, he is uh, again working on cars for us. Mega star, he's just doing um, the brakes. Basically, um, one of the other side um, had seized a little bit, but just needed cleaning up. And basically, we're doing a pad. Um, discs do need changing, but we've got a little update for you on that. We may be changing brake discs and calipers. No reason why they've been really, really good, um, but I'll tell you in uh, the coming weeks as to why. Um, yeah, a little brake change, but it's going to be a big brake uh, kit again but a different uh, type we're just putting some used race pads that we had from the kit when we first started this they've got pads in them at the moment i think we've got a used set of pads that's going in them um, because in about a month uh, or a month and a half time we're changing them for a different big brake kit maybe but i'll keep keeping on the channel and let you know what's going on aside from that we've also got lots of other little bits and bobs going on as well um we have got some really really exciting um kind of news i suppose you you probably would have seen if you haven't seen it uh ping on the top uh, kind of right hand side you'll see a video um not 60 time video i did of the car um it was pr fairly uneventful because by the time i'd done a i think one half decent not 60 which was um followed by a load of um kind of clutch smell um we yeah the basically the clutch pretty much was starting to expire it was just spinning up um we still run a stock clutch which has done forty three thousand miles on that car so at the end of the day, it's given up the ghost. The car's now running closer to uh, 350 horsepower on a generous dyno and 330 horsepower on a uh, normal dyno, I say. Um, so yep, yeah, we need a new clutch and flywheel. I have said that for a good month. Um, we have had one for a little bit of time, but we've been so busy, obviously, as you will all hopefully know, on the racing ka so we've been so busy we just haven't been able to put stuff on uh, hence why we're doing loads of stuff and we're doing a bit of a catch-up video so i'm going to flip um this around so you can see the sexy beautiful clutch that is going to go in it's not going in today it's going in next week because we've actually got to do a little bit more on this to get it race ready or test ready for snetterton which is our next round if you haven't seen the race video for our first round in that donington top right hand side click on there and um, yeah, let me flip it around and show you the lovely clutch and flywheel that will be going in this very soon. Yeah, I wouldn't say the heavens have just started opening, but we're just starting to get a bit of rain. But I just thought before we start um, carrying on with this video, I'm just gonna give you a bit of an update in general about the channel. Obviously, if um, you're kind of wondering, obviously the, the channel name is Peak Performance Reviews. Just so you know, I wanted to let you know, anyone who's watching, who's a subscriber, and if you're random and new, um, the things coming up on the channel um, in the coming months. We have got masses of reviews. Um, winter's always quite quiet for us, being a re relatively small channel, but rest assured there's loads of reviews coming up. Um, we are gonna be on track at Bedford with the M2 competition, the M5 competition, um, the 860, the, M the M860 um, BMW, and also the uh, new Z4. Um, AKA Supra, maybe I shouldn't say that, but um, so the new set Z4, I'm actually gonna get out in that car before I'm out in the new Supra. Um, and on that note as well, I am gonna be out in the new Supra very, very soon. I've been told I'm actually out on track soon with it. Um, I'm going to Thruxton, the fastest circuit in the whole of the UK in the new Supra. So keep an eye out for that as well. It's gonna be amazing. That's coming up really, really soon. Um, and other than that, we've got loads of reviews coming up from lots of different makes and manufacturers. Um, we don't know the cars, but there's lots of stuff coming up very, very soon uh, from Millbrook and some other awesome tracks and all kinds. So rest assured there is car review, reviews coming as well as obviously uh, update vlogs on racing. Fiesta ST, not the Civic Type R anymore because that's going. It's in there, that's for sale. Links in the bio if you do want to buy it. It's on eBay at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm gutted about that. I'm going to cry when that goes. I don't, I'm not uh, afraid to kind of admit it. I'm going to be gutted. Two years in that, um, two championships won, been brilliant. But you know, new life changes happen and life moves on. So um, yeah, always good. But like I say, rest assured, loads of car reviews coming on. Keep watching this uh, video on the Fiesta ST and I'll let you know what's going on with that now.
If you don't follow us on Instagram, uh, please do. It's Peak Performance Reviews, uh, all one word, and you will find us. Don't worry. You know the Peak Performance logo, so yeah, search it and have a look. But basically, we have gone for a TTV. Um, these guys are um, basically um, a British company, um, so it's lovely to see that they're manufactured in the UK. Any anything that's manufactured in the UK, it's nice to know that you know it's locally made. Um, it means that often you are going to save in shipping and things like that. Um, and ultimately, the the cost of uh, such a high quality bit of kit is is not uh, not bad at all. Um, but the quality, genuinely, guys, is just second to none. So basically, it's a um, yeah two two hundred and forty mil uh, two hundred and thirty mil um, paddle clutch, um, and we've got this really amazing billet flywheel as well. I'm going to get this out for you in a mo. So billet flywheel. This is TTV Racing. Quite a hard company to search, but they are. You will find stuff of them. Just to give you a bit of an insight as to what these guys do, um, they are making clutches for um, you know Ibrahim Canoe, which is E Canoe Racing in uh, Dubai Underground Racing. If you guys don't don't know who they are, you should do. They make um, basically they have cars and manufacture and tune cars that have got. 2000 3000 4000 horsepower and are some of the quickest cars in the world and they run ttv uh, clutches so um just to let you know what the quality is like it's it's second to none um obviously if you don't know um standard fiesta st uh, flywheel is a dual mass flywheel basically um two masses ma massive masses of uh, uh, fly plate, plate wheels um and they're balanced a certain way but what happens with the uh, dual uh, mass flywheel you have lots of weight so much weight but if you do get rid of the dual mass flywheel on a lot of cars you often get um potential vibrations and noises um, but obviously you do save a hell of a lot of weight, but you have to be careful how you do it unless you want something that sounds and looks quite racy um, in terms of feel and sound um, through the car when you're sitting in traffic. But yeah, this is a one piece uh, billet um, uh, flywheel. It's You'll see, and I'll open it up, it's still very similar to the look of a, um, a dual mass flywheel. So it's got a big um, uh, flywheel um, plate in, in one bit of billet aluminium. Um, and basically that that allows for the balance to be really really good and uh, it also goes straight in as such and then obviously it's matted to another 240 mil uh, 230 mil um clutch and obviously it's got uh, the main plate um, or main uh, clutch pack um, and also comes with the the paddle which is the friction uh, material so yeah this is automotive uh, parts machinery porn um etched on ttv racing um logo and basically this is a um a five paddle um friction plate uh clutch um, which obviously goes matched to the flywheel and to the clutch um pack um and obviously um what dictates what kind of kit you need is basically what kind of power you're kicking out if you um run a standard car or stage two car and you're running 240 250 horsepower you're not going to need this clutch and flywheel um although it would be beneficial because you know it's just going to last but you can get lots of different variants of this clutch and flywheel setup um well worth going for obviously the less power you you have obviously less friction um material or high-end friction material you're going to need so it will be cheaper for the um, lower stage power you'll have and more money for obviously the higher stage power you have we have the red um fibrous uh, kind of friction material from ttv which obviously ttv asked us exactly what we require from the clutch um we obviously told them that we we uh, use the car on the road for 12 13 14 thousand miles plus we also um uh near enough that we don't race but we we do track days and we sometimes do anything from 12 to 15 track days plus spa plus nurburgring and we really go hard with this clutch so we have gone for and had the race uh stroke track uh, friction plate material um on ours um so we this uh, clutch is basically designed for somewhere close to and around 400 horsepower and 450 foot pounds of torque all day long it's designed to take that heat that power that torque all day long the torque is the main thing um the sts do produce quite a bit of torque um and obviously um to be able to take that kind of torque you need a specific uh, friction plate uh, friction material and we've got the one that's good for 400 uh, horsepower and 450 foot pound of torque all day long 
this is what you need. Um, links in the bio to where you can kind of get this. I can't wait to uh, use this, knowing that basically it's going to take the power that we've got um, all day long. Simple as that, and it will last and last and last. Going to get some massive benefits as well from the lightweight flywheel. We're gonna, I don't know how much we're going to save, but what I'll do is I'll, I'll um, when I remove my flywheel, I'll get a, uh, um, a weighing scale out so we can kind of uh, look at the differences between the uh, uh, standard dual mist flywheel weight and the new billet wheel flywheel um and yeah obviously the benefits to run the lightweight flywheel is you're going to get freer rev and engine um you're going to um unsprung weight um and also uh the benefits of obviously reducing say probably what i'm guessing is going to be five or six kilograms from the car itself but mainly the unsprung weight which is basically almost it turns that into a uh a higher wheel horsepower because obviously if you think um the power that's coming off the crank um straight off the crank through uh you know all the ancillaries that drive um the transmission uh through to your driven wheels um anything that's lighter on that part is going to um, increase the response of the engine the response of the power from the crank to the wheels um to to being uh, driven um you're going to get um as a as a improvement you're going to get acceleration uh, potential top speed and um, a better wheel horsepower figure so um, it really is going to make that car quite a bit uh, more zippy and livelier and quicker so cannot wait to get this on the car look at it pure porn so yeah obviously as i said i'm gonna um, we're gonna do a full installation video on this um and we're also going to do uh, a new 0-60 video i suspect the 0-60 hopefully with this thanks to this clutch and flywheel should be deep in the four second range which is unbelievable for a little front wheel drive car little absolute pocket rocket rocket and weapon so look out for the full installation video of this coming up very very soon and the new 060 video as well loads of exciting stuff happening it's gonna be awesome can't wait can't wait to get that ttv uh, clutch on there like, like i said before links in the bio uh, check that out right and obviously sorry we haven't shown you much as such but it's more of an explanation of things that are going on but yeah that's pr pretty much it we just had a bit of a rainstorm and a bit of a uh, lashing of wind or lashing of rain and a bit of wind um but yeah that's it that's the end of um the quick little vlog um an update vlog um yeah join us for the next one um thanks for watching as always like share comment subscribe see you again in the next one bye for now